Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 125. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 12132. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about charting functions of x. Now, um, some people have those handheld calculators. You type in the equation, and it plots it for you. Um, but Excel doesn't do it that way. You actually have to give it value. So we're going to look at a hard example first and then an easy example. Here's a formula here, a big long formula, just like that. And we want to, um, there's an E there and an X there and an E. Well, Excel won't know E, but there's a way to do it. If we put an EXP1, uh, exponent 1, it'll give us the. Uh, the E number, and wherever these X's are, we have to link it to a cell. So I'm going to just start by copying, um, putting this in edit mode, F2, and then scoop all that out, Control C. So this is a function, except for that little thing right there, exponent 1, that uh, we wrote out on a piece of paper, right? And so we're going to type this in, but I didn't want to type it in. So, But that's it. We, I copied it, and then I'm going to click right here and say equals. Actually, before we do that, we have to. I'm going to put the uh, show you how to do the number e equals e x p parentheses one. And I've done other videos on uh, e, but there it is. Now I'm going to see if I can put put it in edit mode. Type equals and then Control V. Now what we need to do is replace. So wherever there's that uh, e, we need to type e x p one close parenthesis and I'm actually gonna highlight that and then copy and wherever we find an X we need to highlight it and then click for our X value right there so we got the E and then E's right there so I highlight it and control V because I have that memory oh and here's an X keep that minus sign I'm gonna click right there on the 60 keep going keep going oh there's an X one we already got that oh and there's an X I hope I didn't forget anything and then uh, if I forgot some X's, it'll tell me, or the E's. And there it is. We got uh, our value there. But now, that won't, work, that won't help us um, if we're making a chart. Now, we're going to do um, some X values. We're going to have a start value and an increment. And we'll build our X values. And then we'll actually copy this formula down here and link it to that cell. Now, here's there's lots of ways to do this. Um, we could say equals the start value, and then enter, and then equals 1 above plus the increment value. And what's beautiful about this is building your function of x with x values like this is you can change the start and the increment, and the chart will update. I'm going to uh, control enter, and then I have to copy down. I'm going to copy it down to 331. There's lots of ways to do this. I've, it's probably a better way. There we go. And then I click on the last one. I can see, sure enough, that worked. I'm going to Control Home. That brings me up to uh, A1. Now I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. And now I want to scoop this out. Control C and Escape. And now I'm going to paste it right here. F2. Now we could go through one by one and change all these C14s to this, which wants to be relative. But here's a weird trick. Uh, and it's nice because you can keep pulling these down here until there's no more and you know you got them all. If you point to the edge of this, this is called range finder when you hit F2. And you can see that it's color coded. But if you point to the edge and you can click and move it, is that totally weird? And then click and move it. Is that totally weird? Click and move it. And so that's a one way to edit this formula. And then control enter and then double click and send it down. The reason why I can go all the way down is just because there's something to the left. And as we scroll through, we can see, sure enough, uh, it's got a bunch of values. And that's it. That's, that's the whole trick. X values and then your function based on that cell right here. Now I want to uh, make a chart. So I'm going to highlight uh, the top two field names and control shift down arrow. And then I'm going to go to, actually scroll all the way back up right to there. And I'm going to go to the insert. And uh, we want scatter. Uh, for 2003, you have to go to uh, the insert chart button. And I'm going to pick that one. And sure enough, if I make this a little bit smaller, we can see we got, and there's so many um, 
individual scatter points that we can see. We could have selected a line, too. But um, there it is, just like that. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, um, not get rid of that, but I want to make a label for that. So I'm going to come over to this cell right here. And I want to say, uh, make a label. Using concatenation equals, in quotes, the max is about space, end quote. And now I want to put max, and then highlight all of these y values. I'm going to click right there, and then Control Shift Down Arrow to send it all the way down. I'm going to hit F4 even though I don't need to, but that jumps it back up and then close parentheses and control enter. Ooh, yuck, I don't want all those decimals. So now I'm going to click here and hit F2 and put a round function around this round. And I'm going to say round to the second. That's like the penny or the hundredth. Now I want to um, link this label right here. So I click on the label and type. F to hit F2, that puts my cursor up here, and then equals. And then you can click on the cell, and that's the way you can link a cell to a label. Now, uh, you definitely, we definitely need to put a label here and over here. So I'm going to go up to Layout, and then we need to go to Access Titles. This is the perfect example of why. Uh, 2007 charting engine is more cumbersome. You know, step three of the chart wizard is so easy because you can put a title and two axis labels. Just type it, tab, type it, tab. But here we have to do all this junk here. Oh, golly. Let's put an axis below. And I'm going to hit F2 equals. Notice, and I'm going to link this to the x axis. I can't get to it, but I'm going to click there and then. No, that won't work. Click right there. Got the B because that's the X down there. And then hit Enter. Now it says X value. Now let's go back up to uh, Layout. Uh, and then Access Labels. And I'm going to say Vertical. Maybe that one right there. And I'm going to say F2 equals and click on the Y and then Enter. Now let me show you one. So that's how you can make an x, y. And what's so beautiful is you can change these inputs, and it totally upstates. But I want to show you another example here. Do this one real uh, quick here. We just have a simple x, y chart. That shouldn't be right there. X, y chart. Let's do our function. Actually, we'll just uh, uh, equals, and we have our slope times our x value minus our y intercept. And there you go, 14.5. Now let's do um, some x and y's. We have a start value and increment. I'm going to do a slightly different formula. That way we can do just one formula and copy it all the way down. Equals the start value plus, and we want row a1. Row function of a1 tells you 1. But actually, we want to um, have that and then subtract 1. And we need to put that in parentheses. This is a clever way of getting the number 0, 1, 2, 3. So as we copy this down, when it gets to a2, it'll subtract 1 and get 1. Because for the first value, we don't want to add anything to the increment. But then we can multiply by this increment right here and lock it going down. I'm going to hit F4, F4. You have to come over here and F4, F4 to lock it going down. And that's a clever way of getting uh, 0, 2, 4, 6. Control Enter. And then I'm going to click and drag it down. Now our uh, Y value will simply be equals our X times the slope. Does it matter if we do slope times X? No way, because multiplication is commutative plus our y intercept. Oh, it's minus our y intercept. I wasn't even paying attention there. Now we need to lock some things. We need to lock this one. So I put my cursor there and hit F4, F4 to lock it going down. And this one, F4, F4 to lock it going down. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And so there you have it, your x and y's. Make sure I got the right, yeah, I put a minus there. 
Now um, we need to do our XY scatter diagram. I'm going to highlight the two top labels, Control Shift Down Arrow. Looks like I'm running out of time. Insert, scatter, and then there we have a uh, scatter diagram. And you could do your same things with your labels there, there, and there, just like we did before. All right, we'll see you next trick.